Good morning, this is Dallas Sports, 1977, coming to you from here in Southwood. I'm back from the music festival that was down in Miami Gardens, Florida at Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, it was a blast, but it was crazy. Um, it was young people was um, climbing out of the top of the buses on the interstate, uh, I mean, on the turnpike coming the off ramp into the st stadium. Um, it was young, young girls was side the street on the interstate, pulling their pants down, using the restroom. It was crazy. Uh, some of them was dressed to the point where they had almost nothing on. Uh, it was, it was hilarious. Uh, some, some of the other bus, tour bus drivers was, they, they just couldn't keep their eyes off doing it, off the girls instead of doing their job. But we're going. The, the subject of today is the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, good morning. Uh, and that's the subject of today. Um, Nate Burleson and Kyle Brent was talking about the Dallas Cowboys, uh, what they expect for this new season and everything and stuff. And uh, can, can the boys can they perform to a capability of winning a world championship? And um, and and get need to be, and do they have the people and the uh, players to do what need to be done this season? And the answer to that question, I will say yes, they have the capability. Um, um, I'm, I'm physically drained and exhausted, emotionally exhausted from this trip. It it was it has drained me. I can barely walk today and everything. But but yes, the capability. And yes, some of the, one of the other talk shows was asking, compared to the players we have on this team, do we have enough talent, enough grace, of, of ability of great players uh, to perform to the highest level, to to do what the Niners, the Niners Dallas Cowboys did, and that's that's win three world championships in four years. The answer question is yes. We got the quarterback to do it. We have the players to do it, and. Um, so I just want, uh, want to expound on that. And that is, if um, the, the main ingredients to that, to that subject, our offensive line must perform. And we get most of our great players back. We're getting them all back um, from injury from last season. That was the problem. We was on t the team last season, even though we had injuries and everything, and we, had, uh, we didn't make the playoffs. And Dakota Prescott was injured. Uh, our, most of our starters was out last season. We were starting with third and fourth string offensive linemen, and the game is won in the trenches on deep on the defensive level, and and the offensive level. The game is won in the trenches, and so if you can't win in those areas, you cannot expect to win football games. So I saw that when I used to be a football official. I seen that when I played the game and coached the game. So um, I'm saying this too, that we do have the, the uh, ingredients to be great. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys is um, a franchise that uh, because of how it was built during Tex Rim and the great Tom Landry, Gail Brent and all them great ones that's going on and everything that was here back then to help build our franchise to be great. Um, and, and because we're America's team, we automatically uh, get and receives great recognition, good, good, great, and positive, and a whole bunch of negative, uh, more negative than in positive. But still, because what we stand for, our franchise is um, a four-star. No, our, our, our franchise is a five-star franchise. Five-star, not four stars. Five-star. That mean we at the top level of, of ingredients to be great because we have the, the team has the money, they have the uh, recognition, they have the clout, they have the aura, and, um, and our franchise is worldwide. And so yes, this team can, it can do that. And I'm saying that. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm saying this because I've, li I've lived it. Um, as a Dallas Cowboy fan, I was looking at uh, Mike, uh, uh, Mr. Rome Football, he was saying how he uh, and put his whole heart in his 
channel and everything, and, they, and some of the YouTubers be asking him, is he just a just a just a natural fan, or he uh, he put his spirit and heart in it? Yes, he please say he put everything in it because he loves cowboys. And guess what? I'm right there with him. I'm the same way. I'm a diehard Dallas Cowboy fan who loves this team. That that put my whole mind in it, my thoughts in it. What about every day? Uh, what uh, my plans are? How I'm going to care myself, or what I'm going to buy, or what I'm going to do to uh, to, put, to, put, to fix to fix up at my house or whatever to represent the Dallas Cowboys. So as a Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm just not no uh, over the uh, counter uh, fan. Just just jumped up and start liking the Dallas Cowboys. I've been liking the Dallas Cowboys since 1965 to 66 season to now. And yes, I love my Dallas Cowboys. And yes, my whole heart is in it. Because whenever you want to do something that's great and special and that's, and, and something that's uh, anything that you do in life, you should put your whole mind in it. You should put your whole heart in it. You should put everything that you got in it that to, to, to uh to let other people know that you're doing your best. And guess what? As a Dallas Cowboy fan, we try to do our best. As a Dallas Cowboy fan, this is the time right now to be positive and not negative. And, and, to, uh, and, as of, and I'm speaking to, right now I'm speaking to the Dallas Cowboy fans. Not, I'm not speaking to other fans of other teams. I'm speaking to the Dallas Cowboy fans. Uh, the ones who's negative, stop being negative. Be positive. Be encouraged. Because this team has a, a great, a lot to, to be special. And guess what? It, um, football is a game like bounces. Whoever get the opportunity. Uh, um, it go, things go their way through officiating, through the way the ball bounces and everything. It hap that happens a lot. A lot has to ha some of it is skill. Some, some of it is luck. And some of it is where it, it just bounces that way and, and teams fall right into greatness because they they were waiting in line to uh, to receive something and the other team lost out that's how life feels so right now yes the Dallas Cowboys has what it takes have the ingredients to be something special and so uh, I was talking I was talking I'm talking about what um, Kyle Brent was asking Nate Burleson on NFL Network the other day and he was asking him what you think about the boys, do they have what it takes? And I'm telling him, and I'm telling you fans out there, we have what it takes. So let's all get together, stick together. Let's come together as fans of America's team and stop uh, downing each other, talking bad about each other, judging one another, and start working together and loving one another, encourage, encouraging one another, be, be, and be positive and not negative. Because when you're positive, Positive bring good things, and not only positive bring good things. When you uh, when when you that way, that our heavenly Father bring us together as one, and we're a big happily family. We're America's team, and we and, and I'm letting you know, I uh, like the, the trip I just was on. I met so many people. Uh, it was a good time and everything and stuff to do this music festival. Uh, um, the majority of the people that got on my bus, they were a lot of them was friendly. They was having a good time and everything and happy and joyous. And so that's what we need to be as fans. That's the way we need to be. We need to be to towards one another. Is that we learn to, to to encourage one another to let each other know that yes, the Dallas Cowboys have what it takes to be something special. And um, even though it seemed like I'm just going on repeating what. Uh, already said yes I'm saying it again we have what it takes this is greatness greatness in a bottle and so uh, I'm looking forward to this new season I really do think that the Dallas Cowboys can put something special together if um, the mighty Dan Quinn um, Mike McCarthy and they do this and, and uh, coaching staff uh, uh, do their things together and everything and protect our, our prize uh, stallion as Dakota Prescott. He's our, he's our prize quarterback. Um, he's coming off injury and he looks great in training camp. He looks amazing. Over in Oxnard, uh, California, he looks fantastic. And so 
That's, that's the moniker of today. The Dallas Cowboys look fantastic. They look awesome and amazing. So I just wanted to share that with you and everything and tell you how things are. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you from Tallahassee, Florida uh, here in Southwood. Uh, let's uh, come together as fans. Let's unite and be a big happy family because uh, we are family. This is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you here in Southwood, here in Tallahassee, Florida. Um, just you be encouraged and put God first in your life and thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.